another episode of The Great Wendy Way where I will be bringing you this week's top Broadway news. A new musical, Hands on a Hard Body, began previews February 23rd at the Brooks Atkinson Theatre and will officially open on March 21st. This show stars Keith Carradine and Hunter Foster, who is Sutton Foster's brother. The show is about 10 people in Texas down on their luck who all enter a contest to win a truck, but a stipulation to win is that your hand has to be attached to the truck at all times. It's based on a 1997 documentary about the same story. It's always exciting when a new show comes to Broadway, and this is one of the first ones this season. Cinderella has been in previews and its big opening is next week, but we haven't seen a lot of the new season shows come to Broadway, so it's always good to be on the lookout for that and hopefully we'll be seeing a lot more soon. It's also been announced that The Glass Menagerie has plans to officially move to Broadway. This show is currently playing in Boston, starring Zachary Quinto and Celia Keenan-Bolger, and according to reviews, it is just a wonderful production. So I'm very much looking forward to this classic play coming to the Great White Way, hopefully very soon. My Fair Lady is having a revival performance May 5th at the Kennedy Center, and it was just announced that Jonathan Price, best known for Miss Saigon and two-time Tony Award winner, will be portraying Henry Higgins, and Laura Michelle Kelly, who is an Olivier Award winner, will be playing Eliza Doolittle. There's been a lot of talk about a My Fair Lady movie also being in the works. Anne Hathaway's name has been thrown around a lot to portray Eliza in a My Fair Lady movie musical. And after her big win at the Oscars, it's no surprise that people just keep talking about her and different movie musical roles she could fill. Anne herself has expressed interest in portraying the role, whether it's on stage or in a movie. I personally would love Laura Osnes to portray Eliza either on stage or in a movie. I think she has the perfect voice, the perfect demeanor to really take on this role. But I would also really look forward to see what Anne would do with it as well. Also in casting news, it was announced last week that Jane Lynch will be taking over the role of Miss Hannigan in Annie this summer. She will be replacing Kate Finneran, who currently plays the role, and I think Jane Lynch is going to do a fantastic job. If you watch one episode of Glee, you see that her personality could perfectly embody a hilarious Miss Hannigan. And it's such a fun, adorable show, and I definitely think Jane is going to, for one, help ticket sales and bring a new dynamic to the character of Miss Hannigan that we already know. For all of you Phantom fans, it was announced this week that a reimagined production of Phantom of the Opera is slated to go on a North American national tour in November. I just saw the show for the first time this past January, and wow was I late jumping on that bandwagon, but I am a huge fan of Phantom of the Opera. It's a classic show, you can see that just by the fact that it's been on Broadway for so long, and I'm really, really hoping that this tour allows even more audiences to see and fall in love with the production. Not that many details have been announced, but as soon as casting and dates and more details come out, I'll be sure to let you guys know because I will definitely be following this news. Last week we received a lot of news about the last five years movie. First, it was announced that Anna Kendrick will be playing the role of Kathy, and I think she's going to do a wonderful job. She has a history in Broadway acting, she was nominated for a Tony at a very young age, and she can play a lot of diverse roles. She was in Pitch Perfect where she sang, she was nominated for an Oscar for her performance in Up in the Air, of course she was also in the Twilight Saga movies. She is a very diverse actress with a wonderful singing voice, and I can't wait to see what she brings to the role of Kathy. And just when we thought the news couldn't get any more exciting, Jeremy Jordan announced via Twitter that he will be portraying the role of Jamie in the movie. I'm a huge Jeremy Jordan fan and I couldn't be happier for him. You know, he was in Newsies where he was nominated for a Tony, he moved to Smash where he now has a starring role, and now he's going to be in the last five years. And I can't wait to see what Jeremy and Anna bring to the table. I think they're going to have a lot of chemistry. They're both trained in Broadway, which I really, really appreciate because it's always great when you have an actor or actress doing a movie musical who has some theater experience. Anne Hathaway is a prime example. Anne Hathaway has deemed herself a theater geek and that definitely showed in her performance of Les Mis, which we all loved. There was a lot of feedback on Twitter about how fans are very excited for this news. A lot of people were tweeting about how they can't wait for Jeremy Jordan to portray the role of Jamie, how he's perfect for the role, how he has an incredible voice, how he's going to be a wonderful in the movie. I can't wait to see the chemistry that Anna and Jeremy bring to the roles of Kathy 
Jackie and Jamie. I think this movie is going to be amazing. Of course, it is hard to live up to Norbert Leo Butz's legacy, but I think Jeremy Jordan could potentially do it. This is also going to expose the musical to a whole new audience. And now it's coming back to Off-Broadway as well. So with all of this exposure, I'm hoping a lot of people finally get to see and appreciate the last five years because it's really an amazing story. Thank you guys for watching. If you have anything you'd like me to report on, feel free to leave it in the comments. And if there's any Broadway news from this week that you're particularly excited about, let me know because I want to hear from you. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time.